This is Pico Bricks, Raspberry Pi Pico W based to make a development kit. 26 pieces, we've got robots, we've got sensors, we've got buttons. I'm not entirely sure what that is. It looks like a house for a robot. We've got remotes, open it up. And the first thing we see is this manual. Start your new adventure here with a rocket. I like that. And that's definitely a Pico W. You've got an LED here, LED screen, which I think is going to be quite handy. Uh, we're going to have a look at the real one. We don't want to see just the one in the book. It's a quick start guide. Very cool. There's obviously lots of good material in the book, so read the book. But what is in this bag? Because this looks epic. So, oh, lovely branded bag, Pico Bricks. And uh, out of it, oh, turn that around. And that is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. We've got our Raspberry Pi Pico W here. And that's actually plugged in on risers, so we could pull it off and put it elsewhere if we wanted to. We've got breakouts here if we want to plug other things in. We've got all the boards already connected. And we've got, what have we got here? We've got a motor driver, uh, wireless, which I think there's a, uh, some kind of Bluetooth connector and a, um, the IR input. Now, there's Bluetooth on the PKW anyway, but still. Buzzer, LDR, which is a light dependent resistor. Tensiometer, so an adjustable resistor. Uh, this is a, a, an LED display. We've got an RGB LED. We've got a button and another LED here. Uh, this is a humidity, temperature, and humidity center, and a relay. And these are all connected, so these don't just physically connect it. These, these here are data bus connections, and it says which GPIO pins are being used for which devices here as well, which makes programming nice and easy. You can use these perforations to snap it off and use these in separate projects if you want to. I'm quite happy to keep it in this board because I think this is a really nice presentation. Um, and look, there's plenty of spare space. There's a reset button, which is cool. And there's a, an area here to plug in batteries if you want to battery power it too. There's a couple of tiny jumpers for the, um, for the motors as well. And there's a proto board in case you want to add your own. I guess you have to pop it out of its container to get to that to be able to solder underneath. Ah, this is amazing. Okay, what else have we got? Because this box is a quite a deep, quite a lot in this box. I think there's definitely much more in this and we can work out which kit I think I've got here for Zero to Hero, but let's find out what we've got. So we have, that is a motor with a propeller so we can make fan examples. We've got three AA battery box so we can do kind of 4.5 volts, brilliant. Two servo motors, awesome. So I can do servo motor experiments. This is gonna be great in front of a student. So look, oh, we got here, so this is a stand. So this is like a desk stand, so we could stand it on the desk like this. And so I could use this when, perhaps when teaching students how to program each of these modules, with it stood up almost like a, I don't know, like a dashboard or something to play with. We've got here NFC module. So we've got an NFC reader, we've got a key ring and a card. <laughs> That's so awesome. We've got, okay, so this is the remote, which we control that IR with. Right, got you, so you kind of set that up and point it there. Nice. What's this? This is flammable gas and smoke detector. <laughs> uh, we've got, uh, okay, so these are your connectors. So four pin, uh, some, so F to F, okay, female to female. And they are some kind of four pin, I think some kind of JST. Um, I'm not sure, it's not, I don't think it's quite the same as um, uh, the, the Quest connectors, they look too big. Uh, there's, okay, PH2, so the two millimeter JST PHs, but there's a 2.54 converter cable, so we've got four here where we can kind of escape hatch and break out of the system into other stuff. Very cool, bring your own sensors or something. We got, okay, a tube, uh, I must go with a pump. Oh, I see, right. Yeah, we've got a pump, so we've got, a pump that we can plug into one of the motor controls or maybe the the, uh, the relay, depending. And then we've got this tube, so we could possibly take this tube and plug it into the pump and pump water or pump something away. I don't know if it's water or air, maybe it's only air. Or we, oh, it says 120 liters per hour pump. Nice. That is a pan and tilt kit, awesome. So we connect that with the servos to get pan and tilt. I like those. We've got another battery box, so this is to AAA, which means we get our three volts from there. Uh, lots of DuPont cables, straight. Yep, yeah, okay, fair enough. What's this? A 
sound sensor, a microphone sensor. I think this is a sound level sensor, so I don't think it's um, I don't think it's a microphone for uh, if you like decoding anything or decoding speech or something crazy like that. I think this is just if it's loud enough, it will respond and you get a signal, which is still a cool thing to program. You can have a, a robot you clap. Uh, oh, that's your venerable HCSR04, so that's our distance sensor, ultrasonic distance sensor. Um, I'm hoping what they've shipped here is a 3 volt version, so it'll work well with the Pico. We'll see. We've got, uh, this is a PIR motion sensor with some adjustable settings on the back. Cool, so we can detect motion. And, I mean, <laughs> there's a whole robot chassis kit with wired motors, so there's no soldering, and the wires look like they're not about to fall off, which is good. Um, and that's like a, a laser cut chassis kit. I mean, that's amazing. <laughs> Just, wow. Uh, okay, you got a USB cable, fair enough. It's USB micro. You got uh, HC, uh, HCO6 serial port Bluetooth module. So although there's Bluetooth on the Pi, I guess this plugs into that connector there. Uh, and then we can kind of use one of those HCX. There are some HCS06 uh, phone apps where you can just kind of configure a couple of uh, buttons and it's like a Bluetooth serial thing. Got a, a little bit of a mini breadboard, excellent. What else have we got here, what's this? Uh -huh. Oh, that's a soil humidity sensor. Oh, okay. So you could have an intelligent plant controller with that. That's awesome. There looks like there's a couple of things actually. Soil humidity, oh, unless that's all one piece. Okay, very cool. And then this, these are wooden parts for, I think this is for our, um, this this greenhouse, the uh, artificial greenhouse. So you could go and build that and do some experiments there. And we've got some, okay, <laughs> that's not a bag. That's a piece of nylon that I think is gonna be used to cover the greenhouse. So you'd build your plant house for that. This is epic. I mean, I, <laughs> The fact that you get to the point where you're building a robot and mounting it on a robot and you've got all the hardware for it there is something else. Uh, all of these experiments are going to be worth trying out and doing. Uh, and I'm going to be using this in my lab for, well, experiments I want to do and tests I want to do, but I'm also going to use this with uh, students as well and let students interact and play with it. I mean, at the moment, there's only one of these, but I suppose at some point I mean to think about if I need additional boards for the students. So maybe extending this kit with additional boards or additional Picos. So this Pico Bricks, I am thoroughly impressed. Um, I mean, you know, software wise, obviously it's anything you got on Pico. Hardware wise, you've got your pin numbers spelled out for you. Uh, and these are all going to be well documented parts. Look, it's even got the I2C address. Look at this, printed there. That's the I2C address for this module. So everything you need is printed right on the board. That's that's fantastic. Um, I'm really impressed by this. What does this say? Oh, I see that's just a Raspberry Pi logo. I'm really excited about this. I will be using it to build things um, what an epic little device. I mean, just to start programming with so many modules already connected. I mean, literally all you know, we, with this, before you even get into that box, plug it in via USB, bit of code, and I'm accessing all of these devices already. Um, I, I think this is a great start for anybody who is looking to get into making, getting into electronics, getting into robotics, getting into Raspberry Pi Pico or MicroPython. You get just this board before you even get into the big kits. You've already got a game changer. You've already got a really good way to learn. Um, but obviously, yeah, I mean, the, the zero to hero kit is is something else. It, yeah, no, I am very, very impressed by this. So this is Pico Bricks. Uh, I was sent this for free uh, by by the makers of it. Um, I thoroughly recommend you have a go and have a look at it. I thoroughly recommend you try these out because they are awesome. Um, go make stuff and be awesome. Bye.